oldest wall circuit attributed to ancient Rome is that built by Romulus himself in the 8th century surrounding the Palatine Hill. And there is archaeological evidence to substantiate that. But the large circuit surrounding much of the city of Rome we will not have until the 6th century. It's called the Servian Wall, attributed to one of the early kings of Rome. When we look at that ancient circuit, we're talking about a wall that encircled about a thousand acres of the city, which is impressive for the 6th century BC. The circuit that is preserved here and there throughout the city is made of two main kinds of tuff. The older circuit, attributed to the 6th century BC itself, is local Capalaccio tuff. But the majority of what we see, so impressive and so well preserved, is made of Grata Scura tuff. And this tuff is coming from the city of Vey. Bay is destroyed in 396, Rome is sacked in 390, and the building using Grotta Scura is attributed to the period around 378 BC. Some of the blocks are marked with Greek lettering, so it is assumed then that many of the builders that constructed the wall came from southern Italy, which was heavily populated by Greek cities. Some of the best circuits that are visible today are on the Aventine Hill, where you also have an opening with another tuff probably for ballistae or catapults to shoot out and attack people. And then you have the circuit, most impressive of all, on the Esquiline Hill, right in front of Termini train station. The reason the wall works so well is it wasn't just a wall, but in front, a major ditch or fossa was constructed. And that way it made it doubly hard for someone to attack the city. Because when you finally got to the wall, you were standing in a ditch at a great elevation down below. And it was that much more difficult to attack the city. How impressive was this wall circuit? Well, during the Punic War, hundreds of years later, Hannibal himself came and inspected those walls and considered actually besieging the city. But after looking at the defensive circuit, he realized it was impossible. The Servian wall circuit, which encloses about a thousand acres, does include the famous seven hills of Rome. But it doesn't include other areas that will be developed subsequently in the Augustan age in particular, like the Campus Martius and Transtiburum area, known as Trastevere today. What's the fate of the Servian walls? Well, they're pretty much out of use after the civil wars are done and Augustus is in control. In the imperial period, so much of the walls disappear. They're buried over or they're covered over or even the material is used in later constructions. This accelerates in the Middle Ages when Rome is hungry for building material. And oftentimes we can see chunks of the Servian wall underneath foundations of various churches.